In this problem we have a sequence and we have to determine um, if it's bounded. So there's multiple ways of doing this. Let's do it using the definition of what it means for a sequence to be bounded. So a sequence a sub n is bounded if whenever you take the absolute value of a sub n, it's less than or equal to m, and this is true for all n uh, greater than or equal to 1, where n is an integer. So let's start by taking the absolute value of uh, the sequence, and let's just investigate what happens. So if we do that, we get 1 over 2n plus 3. And we want to show that this is you know, less than or equal to, to some number, right? So we can certainly do this, 1 over, uh, and then here um, we can drop the 3. And the reason we can drop the 3 is because this fraction here on the left is smaller than this one because the bottom piece is bigger, right? So uh, whenever you have a 3 here on the bottom, it makes the bottom bigger, it makes the fraction smaller. So we can drop the 3 and we get a bigger, a bigger fraction. And n here, uh, well, we can drop the 2 as well. Right? We can do this, and we can drop the absolute value, right? Same reason. N here is greater than or equal to 1, and so um, you know this this here is bigger than this, so we can we can drop the two. And we want this to be less than or equal to a number. Well, n is greater than or equal to 1. So if you divide both sides by n, you get 1 greater than or equal to 1 over n. So 1 over n is less than or equal to 1. So this is this is less than or equal to 1. So the absolute value of a sub n is less than or equal to 1. That's our big M in the definition. And this is certainly true for all n. We didn't put any conditions on n. So we've shown um, that it's bounded. Uh, it's bounded by 1. Okay, it's bounded by 1. By the way, when you show it's bounded like this, you're basically showing it's bounded above and below. I know some books talk about bounded below and bounded above. This is stronger. Uh, this is just bounded. So bounded means it's bounded above and below, and this is the definition of bounded. So this takes care of all cases in one powerful step. Good luck.